fractions. Who wants a cake? Part one. Today is Tom's birthday. His mom brought a nice cake to celebrate it. Come on, kids. Who wants a cake? We all want it. We have to divide it so that each one gets a piece. Pieces should be equal. In mathematics, we call this piece of cake a fraction. How do we get a fraction? A fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole. It consists of a numerator and a denominator. The numerator represents the number of equal parts of a whole. The denominator is the total number of parts. Fraction equals number of selected parts over total number of parts. Divide something, like this square for example, into equal parts. Select one part. Let's color it in red. Now we write the fraction. Number of selected parts over total number of parts. In our example, number of selected parts over total number of parts equals 1 over 4 or a quarter. What if we select three squares? The number in the numerator will change. Fraction equals number of selected parts over total number of parts. This is our selection. Number of selected parts over total number of parts equals 3 over 4 or 3 quarters. Do we get fractions by only dividing shapes? No. For example, we can get fractions by selecting some elements from a set. If we have this set of seven elements, the fraction representing number of stars equals number of stars over number of all elements equals 4 over 7 or 4 sevenths. The fraction representing number of triangles equals number of triangles over number of all elements equals 3 over 7 or 3 sevenths. What about our cake? Why don't you tell me? We are it. The fraction representing my piece of cake equals the number of pieces I will eat over the number of all pieces equals 1 over 8 or 1 eighth. What if I give you my piece? The fraction that represents my share will change. The number of pieces I will eat over the number of all pieces equals 2 over 8 or 2 eighths. I learned today A fraction is a number that represents a part of a whole. It consists of a numerator and a denominator. The numerator represents the number of equal parts of a whole. The denominator is the total number of parts. Fraction equals number of selected parts over total number of parts. Test yourself. Connect the fraction image to its symbol.
I hope you enjoyed our lesson.